In this tutorial, we're going to cover how we go about flattening civil 3D information that you would receive from a surveyor. So this will typically be contours. So in this case, I have a basic drawing. I have scaled it up from meters to millimeters. So I've scaled everything by a thousand just to make this process easier. So in essence, this is a millimeters drawing. So if we go and dimension anything, so always good to go and dimension some information and you'll see that this is in millimeters rather than meters. Okay. So now that we've got our drawing, from the plan, from the top aspect of the view, this will look flat. But if we change this from top to right or left, it doesn't matter which one you select, you'll notice that the contours are way up above the drawing, depending on the level above sea level. And my guess is if you hold shift and you use the middle mouse button to rotate, you'll notice that the text is also going to be at an elevated level. So depending on what type of text type it is, you'll notice that this is text, not in text. So if it's, if it's normal text, then we can change the Z location. However, if, if there's any multi-line text in the selections, if I select anything here and I go to text, anything that is multi-line text will not have a text placement or position. So text alignment, you'll notice if I have the properties, here I can change all of that to zero. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is if you get a drawing like this, it doesn't matter what view, go back to top view. Now this is important, use the view cube. If you don't have the view cube, you might have to go to the, the side view. However, if you go to the side view, it might affect the Z value. So in this instance, I prefer using the view cube and I'm going to press the front view. Now you'll notice that the Z is up, so that's what we want to address. So you're going to select everything in this that is at an elevated level, and you're going to right click and you're going to open up properties. Remember, Control 1 on your keyboard will do the same thing. Now we need to select what objects need to be changed. So in this instance, I'm going to use the polylines first. Now with polylines, to fix the elevation, you'll notice in the geometry section, there's an elevation category. You need to replace that to zero. You would have noticed that everything had moved down. Please note that the contours are handy if you want to create a 3D model using Format or if you're going to use Revit, for example, to create the topography. Or you can also use Blender to do this as well. There is a technique that you can use to get those levels to the correct level. Okay, they are handy in certain circumstances. Now I'm going to select just the text, press Ctrl 1 on my keyboard, remember, and I'm going to change the Z placement to zero. Now, if we zoom in, this should be a flat drawing. So if we have a look, this is a flat drawing. So if I just use the view cube again, or in my viewport, I can literally click in the top left hand corner and I can change this to top. Okay. Now, in theory, all of this information is flat and you'll notice that my contour notes are also in the right location. The last step I would probably want you to do or is advised to do is to cut out the information for your site so you don't have any additional information. That's not required. You can use a polyline to do this. So if I just pick the site over here, for example, polyline, I'm just going to create a closed polyline PL. Just remember polyline. So select, get some good contextual information. So I just want to select this information like this, for example. I'm just doing this pretty roughly for now and C for close, C for close. Remember if it's polyline at any point you can change the grips and you can add additional information. So the reason why I'm doing this is I want to clip out this information for my context. Okay, so once I've created a clip line, what I need to do is switch off the image. So select the image boundary itself and you can say on and off, switch that off for now. Now basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trim command. So maybe include some of the road okay so include some of the road good now all that i'm going to do is i'm going to use the trim command so i'm going to go to trim command at the top with the trim command active i'm going to use trim i'm going to use t for cutting edge and i'm going to use this polyline that i created now you can use f on your keyboard f is a fence selection tool which is quite handy and you can see it does a good job or you can just simply click and drag what you don't want to but I'm going to use F again so I'm going to use the fence tool so F fence again so I'm going to select all this information 
and you can see the fan still does a great job remember you can also just click and drag on your keyboard so click and it's the left mouse button you can also use that function it does a fairly good job as well but you can see I've managed to get rid of all the information that I don't currently need so now I can just simply go and delete everything around this area okay so that's you can see I've managed to get rid of a whole lot of information. This is important. Clean up your drawings. Don't keep the whole context. It just makes the drawings very heavy. So that information I can delete. Now, in addition, you can trim hatches. So that's important to know. Undo. I'll explain. You can trim hatches. So trim again. So I can. So trim. Use T for cutting. T for cutting edge. Select this edge. And you see you can trim a hatch but you have to select them individually so trim again t and your keyboard for select this information now you can trim just that bit of line work okay now that i've got the information that i need you can go and neaten everything up but in essence this is now a flat drawing okay you can delete the hatches now if you don't need that information but at least you've got your site information i've got some road information here i can trace I can use the center line of the road and I can start drafting my roads and start determining how I access the site, for example. But at least here I've got some contour information so I know where the contours are. So if you want to produce a section to this drawing to the site, for example, and you can determine the fall of the site because you've got these values that you can use. Okay, so that's how you flatten the drawing and you can neaten up the drawing. Just remember to move everything, make sure all your layers are visible on visible unlocked and thawed so you can isolate as well so you can say visible thawed you want everything thawed if you want to move a layer now you can press ctrl a on your keyboard and you can move everything try and keep this as close to the origin as possible remember if you've got dynamic inputs on you'll need to use the shape, um, hash zero comma zero so shift hash key and now you can move everything. Now you can start doing your side drawing. Remember, leave everything as is because north is up. But remember that you can use your UCS view. You can use your UCS to change the view at any time. Okay. All right. I hope this helped you flat. This will help you flatten your drawings so that you don't work with drawings that have elevated lines. This does cause a lot of problems down the road when you're trying to hatch objects, for example. Okay.